some of y'all have asked how I hook up this trailer, so I'm going to show you a video. I uh, noticed right now that the uh, coupler is not in there. The car's right here. Got the top on, obviously just pull the top off halfway or however far I need to go, and then back under it. See that's pretty close. I'm just gonna take off my little ball cover. Go 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 go! Throw in the coupler at the uh, fourth line where I always do, and uh, that's that. Oh yeah. This part kind of sucks by yourself because it's heavy. Now I just reinforced all this wood for this very reason here. Now the tricky thing here is I parked this thing on a hill, so I gotta try and figure out the geometry where it comes down. So this is just a rough guess, we'll see. I'll just drop it down and see what happens. This is where I should have bought hydraulics. It's not so bad going down, but going up with a loaded trailer sucks. Okay, now I'm gonna stop and check it out. Now you can see it's still off. So if I raise the right bag, it might help it out a little bit. I don't know if it's gonna be enough. It's all trial and error. See, so watch, I'll raise the passenger bag. See, it's close, but that's not gonna work. And this is where it gets shitty, because now I gotta try and move this thing back and forth without taking the uh, coupler out. Yeah. And when it's right over your axle like that, with a foot and a half to move, sucks. That's the worst part about this whole deal. You can see here I just walked my way over a little bit and kicked the ass end out just a bit. And now it lines up better. Um, so, oh, I guess it's a little bit off that way, but the uh, body's flat right now, or the air. So if I air it up this way, it'll even it out some and uh, just drop it down, lock it up. And then here's this Defender Gooseneck, cu gooseneck Coupler by B&W Hitches. You can see it's pretty sweet. It has a lock built in so you don't have to worry about anybody stealing your stuff. Uh, you just lock it up and that's that. Now that's left, safety chains hook on our roll cage. Plug in the uh, brakes and all the lights, and then here is the breakaway, which I pull out of here while the electricity is unhooked. Pull it out of here, wrap it around the roll cage, back through the hoop on the end here, and back into the switch. And that's about it. Uh, like I said, I love this trailer. Only thing I wish I would have done was got the hydraulics. Now I just gotta tilt the trailer up and load the seat tent up. Here's the hydraulics. So I just showed you a uh, part of loading up the trailer and my camera died and I had to go so uh, I'm gonna show you the rest of what I do to get the truck on the trailer basically. Um, so this is a tilting trailer. So all I gotta do, tilt the back up, drive the truck up, and I have a special spot where I have to be parked on this for my straps to work. These are Jazz products, uh, race car tie downs. But you can see that that's all the movement I got left in there. I got these and these D rings up here that I welded into the trailer. In the back, this is the more complicated part because of air ride, and I wanted it to sit low. I actually have the strap here that goes up under there. To the uh, four link bars now you can see here that when I drop this down this is almost on this clamp so what I have to do is I actually have to get this tight uh, before dropping it and then the angle of drop actually makes it tighter 
as it goes down because of the geometry of it. Uh, so you can see both sides there, it's like that. And it's in a cross pattern, so it goes across. So it's like a, an X. Uh, and then that, that's it, really. Fits on there pretty good. Uh, as you can see, this side's pretty close. It's hard to get this thing lined up straight, but that's that.